Viacom had just figured out that a new logo was the way to establish their authority over their new acquisition. Well, fairly new, depending on when you're reviewing this. And what better way to show that authority than to copy someone else's homework? Seriously, the new Channel 5 logo was made up of five elements to form the five name. Even now, this logo looks way too similar to Channel 4's, which isn't too far from the truth, as the items also screen Channel 4 in more ways than one. I mean, come on! Channel 4 had their big rebrand in September 2015, and just three and a half months later, along came Channel 5 with something similar. So similar, down to the idea of having no logo in the item at all, which can be a hit or miss depending on what you are doing. These items revolve around the principle of having five of something in a random place, whether that be some dogs in a pickup truck, some birds on a balcony, rainbows in a rainy mountainous field, some skateboarders on a sunny road, or some whales jumping in the sea. Even without the logo, you know, the logo that they had just infused and didn't bother to put on the items themselves, these items still feel like Channel 5 to me. Maybe it's got something to do with how simple the concept of them are. Same with how simple the concept of the channel is. And you may be wondering what was happening with Big Brother. Well, another celebrity series ended a few days before the rebrand, and the main series was due to begin in June. However, unlike the previous set of items, there had been no special Big Brother item made for Channel 5, at least until 2018. That's good, because it makes my job easier by easing the storage on my computer. But that's not important right now. Other things to note during this era was the brake bumpers, which were actually quite good. I think my head just tells me that satisfying stuff equals good, which gives you the answer to whether or not I'm a fan of those BBC4 items for the Born Digital season. A question you definitely weren't asking before I said that. But what can I say? They work like glue and wood. It's worthy of using as a screensaver on your computer, or your phone. However, one thing you can't say about Channel 5 during the Big Brother era is that it didn't like special presentation. We can forget the items for now and take a look at the presentation for Celebrity Big Brother in 2017. That's early 2017. It's confusing, I know. Channel 5 were CBB obsessed at this point. They would air it twice in the same year, the main series getting a single airing. Probably a bit too much? Scratch that. It is a bit too much. I can only cope with watching people I hate do nothing for a month for so long. Maybe Channel 5 would like to ruin their ECPs for loads of stars for this particular CBB, as it was, the, it was the one with Kim Woodburn, someone who I both love and hate for reasons beyond the realm of normal human understanding. I love how she can challenge anyone no matter what, but I hate how she can challenge anyone no matter what. See what I mean? Even if that was the case, she's still one of my favourite CBB housemates of all time. Fight me. Oh, I've had a wonderful evening. Yeah, I'm glad. Oh, it's been delightful. Delightful. All the people I'm living with here. Anyway, back to Channel 5 items. This look would stick around until 2020, not changing much until then. In that time period, we saw the return and the end of Milkshake on Five Star, which lasted only a few months. A complete crime when you realise that the only addition to the block was Pingu, the best animated show about penguins rivaled only by the Octonauts. Big Brother, despite still being better than Love Island in every way, was also axed. I say axed, Channel 5 just didn't want it anymore. It's a shame, as Love Island is arguably worse than Big Brother in its message about body image and how to succeed in life, not helped by scandals involving suicide and other such stuff that isn't right talking about here. As for Big Brother, this time Channel 5 made some special items. Well, for the celebrity series at least. It adds more of a storm to the items and removes the vibe of some things, like the birds and the rainbows which I can understand, as the focus is on the eye, but the eye in the bird one is so ridiculously huge that it feels like I'm watching a disaster movie directed by Roland Emmerich. Still, if the show wants to go out with a bang, then by all means. But this is a case of when a show thinks it's going out on a big note, 
when actually it is really underwhelming compared to the farewell Channel 4 gave it in 2010. Big Brother, we'll get back to you. Big Brother ended on Channel 5 in November 2018 and would see a new five year gap between then and now. As I'm making this, the 20th series of Big Brother is going on here in the UK on ITV2. The bastards who made Love Island and the reason why humanity is still using mobile phones as a life support machine for their brains. So Big Brother isn't dead, it lives to tell another day. Now on the same channel that brought you half naked people on a villa somewhere in Spain or South Africa. Either the name is a lie, it's Love Island, it's in the name and it's not even on an island. Who is keeping this show alive and how can I legally hire a hitman to curb stop me with a bunch of road signs with middle fingers on them? We now return to Channel 5, post Big Brother. Seven years of reality TV can do something to the channel, but Channel 5 recovered from it quite quickly, and they are now professionals in making railway documentaries, documentaries about the royal families, and dramas by, no by people no one has ever heard of. Actually, we should probably move on to the next, and to this day current, look for the channel. February 2020. Channel 5 ditched their Channel 4 rip-off islands and went for something... Uh, worse? Worse. This is definitely worse. Now, before people start attacking me, let me explain. This look just feels... dull. There's a certain plain and corporate taste about these islands that really gets me. And it pisses me off because Five Star had a rebrand not too long ago before these islands were introduced, and they were worse than the ones before them by a long shot. These are quite literally just panning shots of some parts of the logo moving up and down on a single colour background with some shite music in the background. That is it. I mean, one person out there must think that too. These are painfully boring and a far cry from what the channel was doing in the early 2010s. These, along with Five Star Islands, are just boring, and I'm not surprised that they haven't updated them since, because why should they? Channel 5 is now part of Paramount Global, which is basically the same as Viacom, but with a new name. Sure, it makes it easier to cross-promote shows, but at what cost? Channel 5's programming nowadays is actually unbelievable. It's just a waft of endless documentary that repeat under different names that are either are about holidays, hospitals, celebrities, railways, or people in the royal family. Then there's the travel shows, more or less a way for you to show off how someone has fallen if they are willing to go to North Korea. I'm looking at you, Michael Palin. Dramas are not even worth talking about as they are so forgettable, even by Channel 5 standards, that they couldn't be promoting a drama for weeks and then aren't even acknowledged as existence after it airs. Comedy just doesn't exist. Either that or it's just repeats of comedies from the BBC or documentaries about comedy shows. So forget it. Quiz shows are somewhat plentiful, but arguably the most well known is Eggheads, which didn't even begin on Channel 5. So. Yeah. Music programming is relegated to Friday nights, but that focuses on 80s or 90s stuff. Reality programming, not including Big Brother, is stuff like the British version of The Bachelor, that 10,000 BC show I mentioned last time, Celebrity Super Spa, and The Farm. But all of those aired before 2020, so forget them. I'm not counting the MTV Video Music Awards, as that is music rather than reality, as much as MTV is crammed with reality right now. I would mention more, but I cannot convince my mind that that would be a good idea. Still, if there's one thing Channel 5 has been good at, it's giving me a series of videos to make on them, essentially shitting all over them. As I have made it to the end, I might as well mention what will happen to those sister channels of Channel 5, as well as Milkshake. 
I hope to make separate videos on them in the near future, possibly after Christmas. I also want to make a Christmas special of these videos, looking at the Christmas island that I didn't get to mention. As well as the plentiful, it should make for a beefy video. So, look out for that during Christmas. For now though, I think I just need to reflect on these sorts of videos for a few days, weeks, minutes, I'm not sure. Still, I did it. So, well done me. I'm not going to say goodbye, as that is a cliche. So instead, I'm just going to give my final thoughts on the Channel 5 network as a whole, instead of just the channel. <coughs> channel 5 to the Illuminati confirmed. <laughs>